Hello everyone. This is Judy coming to you from my scrapbook loft and I'm here to do the final walkthrough of my Halloween album. But first I want to say if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy your visit and that you will return. If you're a returning visitor, welcome back. Thank you very much for all of your support, each and every one of you. Okay, the album is made with the Graphic 45 Charmed pattern paper and the Graphic 45 uh, 12 by 12 uh, patterns and solids. And I started with the 8 by 8. The eph ephemera uh, I've got from Graphic 45. This cat is from Miss Diane. She did me some die cuts uh, in a swap that we did a couple of years ago. And all of these metal pieces have come from Amazon, except for this lion, which come from Hobby Lobby. Okay? And I just put some chain on the lion's knocker, here the knocker part, and um, put these... Um, chains on here this is a skeleton key and this is i don't know a king or a soldier or something and um this is some kind of sign i don't know what it is but anyway it's halloweeny and then on the spine here i put this at the bottom of the spine because the, i liked it there and this piece is from hobby lobby and of course you all know this netting is from um, Dollar Tree and the eyelash trim Donna Dreams Times 3 gifted me. Hi Donna. Here's some more of the netting and I did the um, metal pieces in the corners on the back as well and that is from um, Amazon and then there's my logo and of course you all here's my closure with my ribbon um, that will hold it closed when it's got uh, something in it. I've, I always leave the space for expansion for it to close. Okay. And then the first signature, I've got 31st on this pumpkin. Now, I did not back all of the ephemera. Um, I wanted it left just as it was. Some of it's backed. Some of it is not. Okay. Uh, this one, of course, is, and it's got that eyelash trim behind it, and I've got a closure with Velcro, and it opens like a gatefold. This flips up, and then I have a tag here, and I put a kitty cat on there, and I've got this, um, I die cut, punch this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to keep it or not, but I liked it. I stuck it in there for the time being, and I put me a piece of Charmed there. I didn't want to put a whole lot in this book because I didn't want it to be too thick. I want to be able to put some pictures in here. I have a pocket here, and I made this for journaling. Put a piece of ephemera here and uh, cut a piece of the border pieces to put in there. This flips this way, and this flips this way, and then this one flips like this. And then I have a tuck spot with a tag here. Okay. Close that up. On this side, I just made a tuck spot, and I put one of the ephemera bats on here, um, this paper had enough busyness about it without me adding any more. I did use the cat bag topper that Diane gifted me in the swap that she and I did. She made that, and I love it, and I used it for my tag. And then these two pages are identical. So we're going to look at this side. I've got a witch here. And I've got some tool with um, gold spider webs in it. And I think 
Maybe Diane gifted that to me in the swap too. I'm not sure, but I think so. I'm not sure. Could have been. Nah, I think it's Diane. <laughs> and then I put a tag in here like this, and it's got um, a piece of ephemera on it there. in there. Then this has a flip here. Place for some journaling there. Put the word boo here and some ribbon and fright night there. These are all pieces of the ephemera. The same over here except that I've got a spider there and um, everything's the same except this one says spectacular. On this side here this was gifted to me uh, by Rhonda Hancock. Hi, Rhonda. Except for this spider. I don't know where I've got these little spiders from. I don't remember. But anyway, I stuck that on there. And I've got some uh, lace here. And this flips up like this. And then you have this pop-up here. Isn't that pretty? She was a piece of ephemera, and so was that. And then I have a tag back here in this tuck spot. I have a cat in here, right here. And then I made this, put this piece of ephemera down, and I have a piece of uh, Ron, um, Kathy O'Sullivan trim right here. Hi, Kathy. And then that just lays down like so. Over here. I made a belly band. This one here I backed, as you can see. And uh, this one I did not, but I've got uh, pop dots on it to hold these booklets. Journaling and pictures. That's what this book is all about. And the black eyelash trim I got at um, Hobby Lobby. This is a piece of the ephemera. Uh, you all saw me do this on a, what was it I did it for? I don't remember. One of the collabs. <laughs> this flips up. And then this opens this way. And we have... Um, a, a tuck here for a picture to go behind. Can you see that? Okay. Then I just stuck this on here. And then there is a tag in here. Hold on. Let me get the tag. I've got a do wacky thing I want to put on there. There we go. Here's the tag. It's a big tag. I promise you all, it goes in easier than that. It just seems like every time I get on screen, it, it gives me a fit here. So... And then this is the last signature in the book. And this is that BB Craft die. Happy Halloween. And I uh, cut it out in black. And then I put black glitter on it. I just love it. And that's a magnet, of course. And this is a tuck spot here. And then this is a piece of the ephemera. I put a, um, there's a key in here somewhere I overlooked. Oh, well. Um, the key goes to this lock here. This goes up. And then here is two uh, tags that I put in the expandable pocket so that you could put more in it if you want to. Put that up. It goes that way. 
There is a tag in here somewhere. Here, had it in my hand with the key. <laughs> See the key. <laughs> and you all, that is my um, Halloween Charmed um, scrapbook album that I've made for this month. And of course, you all know about the latch that I put on. I want to thank you all for watching. Hugs to you from me and God bless.